When it comes to hair, what you can do, imagining you would take a big piece of cloth mm -hmm. and would put it on a bolt head. And then it would like sit, but it would have a lot of volume. And the biggest problem I always see is when people draw the hair, they draw it more graphical or they look for the shapes, which is fine, but they forget the volume. And there is actually some sort of gravitation happening. When it's more humid outside, your hair starts also to get more volume automatically, right? Like, girls sometimes have the problem, they make themselves uh, pretty to go outside, uh, they make their hair and then it's so humid and the hair goes everywhere. But this is something you can keep in mind, uh, that there is actually some sort of volume. So if you just add gravitation, and if you keep that in mind, then you will never have problem to, to draw flat hair again. Like it feels a bit heavy, like laying on the face, laying on the scalp, right? So that's why hair is also wrapping around very well on the head. Sometimes I see that the hair is too far away from the skull. The hair grows out of it, but it's actually laying flat. Also, little tip from my side, when it comes to indicating the eye, there's a little line you can do. Yeah. Of course, it depends on what, where the person is coming from, but um, this already can indicate, for example, a little bit of volume just with two lines. And for the eyebrows, they are all on the edge. That's why it's you see this like this perfect connection from this line to an eyebrow. Also, one more thing because we just see at this. So yeah, the problem here is for example also the nose because the nose goes straight down. So the nose would actually be here because the nose is also a geometric form. And then we just saw it from the skull study that the mouth is basically this round cylinder or this ball. It, it doesn't matter what whatever you want to take, but when you draw a mouth in that position, just keep in mind that there is this wrap around. When I started with drawing, I had the same type of problem with the law that, that I forget that. And then you also see that okay, the chin is actually in the side. Um, but I'm already very happy that I can see the improvement through doing the start, uh, skull studies, and that was the intention of doing that. With these indications, um, especially with this one, I see that you think more about the structure, that there is actually an eye socket, that there is a nose bone, that this comes out, that this is round, gives this this plastic look. And just this part of understanding helps automatically to run. So I really love this one. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. If you also want to get mentored by me, make sure to check out my website, janoschmanisart.zone and apply for the mentorship. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Take care. Ciao, ciao.